going through downtown Nacogdoches. We have the brick streets, or some people, not from here, call them cobblestones, but they're bricks. over there that girl painted nine flags we have the nine flags festival here y'all can look that up that tire on the back of that forerunner sure is wiggling y'all see that something needs to be tightened up appointments coming up it's that time of the year but uh, I don't I don't have to be anywhere on a certain day or a certain time so <coughs> I don't even keep up I'm, I'm constantly asking uh, Alexa at the house what day is it And I haven't looked at a calendar or anything today. I do have a prayer request. A friend of mine's husband is in rehab. He's got a bad heart. And he's in rehab. And this has happened several times. And uh, they're trying to teach her how to use the lift to assist him when he comes home. And she's uh, hurt her back and not feeling well. And she's going to the nursing home every day and sitting with him. So she's uh, she's pretty tired, y'all. And they're both oh, five, six years older than me.
maybe there. I don't see a sign about them being closed. Maybe nobody's here early because of the heat. Very strange. Well, I'm gonna park and walk up there so I can read those signs closer and see if one of them says. I'm, I'm here at the same time I'm always here and there's always a few people here ahead of me but y'all it is really hot it is really really hot and maybe nobody wanted to get out in the heat okay guys um, they did open nobody came till late I guess nobody wanted to wait in the heat but I know a lot of those people don't have a air conditioner in their car and they sit out under that pavilion. Now Nugget, you have not been whining one bit till I turn this video on. You need to stop that. We're on the way home. We're fixing to go home and get out. No, no, don't do that. That's not good. Anyway, a lot of people don't have a, a air conditioner in their automobile so maybe that's why they didn't come I don't know because right now it's showing it's a hundred degrees so the temperature since I've been sitting there waiting has gone up two degrees but the air conditioner in the car was working good so we we've stayed cool we had plenty to, we had bought our drinks with us I always have bottled water in here and and I have the bowls for for the babies so they can always have a drink I always offer them water when we're out riding or doing anything and I never know when I want to stop and take a walk somewhere of course in this heat I won't do that that much but when our weather is is cooler and nice I may stop at a random moment and get them out and go for a walk so I always have water in my bag I can take their bowls and stuff with us on the walk the little collapsible bowls but anyway we're about uh, two miles in two blocks will be two miles from my house so when we get there, I'll show y'all what we got. Um, we didn't have meat today. Uh, everything there is totally donation. A lot of the churches and stuff I go to, see the churches buy. Uh, they take donations too, but they buy a lot of the food and stuff that they give. And... Uh, There must be a red light down down here holding the traffic up. <coughs> anyway, none of the grocery stores donated meat. So <coughs> all they had was some canned can meats uh, that they were letting people take uh, extra, extra of. But I did get some good stuff that... Uh, that I'll eat and enjoy and uh, that and if the word got around now usually they'll advertise and say that they don't have meat but they didn't put a sign on the door but if the word gets around that they don't have meat a lot of people won't come but I use all of it so uh, you know it it all matters to me I don't go just for just for the meat so and uh, you know I have some meat from the uh, other food banks in the freezer 
and then I have my vegan meat, so I have meat, but, um, you know, sometimes you need the vegetables and stuff to go with it, but then again, a lot of people don't eat vegetables like I do either, so anyway, we'll be home in a few, and I'll show y'all what we got. Okay, guys, we're back from the food bank. <clears throat> And this is what we got. We got some nice zucchini. Look at those big zucchini. Boy, I'm going to enjoy those. Uh, kind of the usual. Uh, we have an insomnia cookie place in town, and they donated cookies, so they were giving everyone a cookie. Y'all, I, I don't know if it was for advertisement or or what, but they handed everybody a little cookie. I've never been there before. I got this huge two pound bag of cheese. That's good, I put that in the freezer and use that. I got some breakfast bread, some bananas, a donut shop, look at that. $6.99 for a dozen donuts. Did y'all think y'all would ever live to see the day? That is absolutely ridiculous. $7, over $7 with the tax for a dozen glazed donuts. I'm thankful for everything I got. The donuts I got the other day, my niece took them. Uh, actually, I think she got them to take to her job the next morning. I never did find out from her how that went, but um, they were sugar glazed, not like sugar sprinkled with sugar, not glazed like these. So I don't know. She might want to take some of those to work with her. I don't know, but we'll see. But anyway, looks like I'm going to have to cook pinto beans. I've been getting quite a few pinto beans and I haven't been cooking them lately or either cook me a big pot and make me some refried beans and put them in some containers in the freezer and I can use those instead of getting the canned ones. So I'm gonna have to cook some of those beans up to make some refried beans. A good old pot of refried beans sounds real good right now with some cornbread. But anyway, this is our food bank haul for today. They didn't have meat and they were running low on donations, but anything's better than nothing, right? I can still make a uh, I can still make some good meals uh, with this. Uh, there's uh, several pasta dishes I've been wanting to try, and I got this pasta. So uh, we'll see what I can come up with. I'll just have to be a little bit more creative. Y'all be blessed. Know your love. Jesus loves you more. And we'll see y'all in the next adventure.